Hey guys, I am really excited. This is Tammy Trier with TrierWilderness.com. I am really excited to uh, share with you my husband, the mountain man, Hi. as well as his new piece of art. I am like so excited about this. This is an herbal drying rack that he made. It is heavy duty. It is awesome for those of us that love to grow herbs and um, medicinal plants in our garden and don't have a lot of space or are just looking for an ornate way to dry them. Uh, we run out of room. I put them on my wash line and of course in the winter time we need the wash line so that doesn't work. So he just made this and I'm going to have him show you how this is designed because it is just amazing. <laughs> And this will be available on our website for sale in very soon. And um, really excited about this because this is just really unique. So do you want to show them how you designed this? Because it doesn't take up a lot of space when it's hanging or when it's apart. This uh, uh, herb rack also could be used for many different things um, you know when you're not drying herbs and stuff you could hang stuff off the hooks this is eight inches by eight inches square um, be making one too that's ten inches by ten inches square and that'll have double hooks that will be like that. The hooks. this is the hooks and they can be they can be um, placed, you know, wherever you want to place them. If you want to offset and like your bottom ones, move your bottom ones over, move this one over this way, or whatever you want to do with it. Um, this is made so that you can take it apart real simply. Um, there's not much to to uh, tearing it down, and it compacts. It all compacts down real nice you know, I'll show you how that goes here you just take the all the hooks off you take grab those I set them down okay and what we will have extra hooks available for sale because some of you like I I'm sure you're like I am and have a ton of things you want to dry so it makes it really nice to be able to hang them and like you said you can use this for anything I'm I'm envisioning candles hanging off of this in um, ball jars <laughs> There's just so much you can do with it. And then after you get your hooks off, you just take this bottom part lifts up and then you can take and just disconnect these. Let's go over here. Just disconnect these here rods. And it comes down. That here too, um, you know, if you were Oh, nice. If yeah. you were, want, you know, had longer herbs or something, um, and you were with, dealing with space or whatever, um, you could also take and, you know, put them on like this and just use the top part here, um, you know, and double up your, double up your hooks or whatever. Um, or if you're doing something like she was saying with hanging candles or whatever, you women do and you know um, you you can just use this part to to do that and you hanging it like that just made my mind go crazy because for those of us in the kitchen who um, want to have our utensils handy and close it would be a great thing to hang in the kitchen and have our wooden spoons and um, different tools hanging on there as well this is just I'm really excited he's just amazing in the shop he does amazing amazing things this I made these, if you can see there, there's little nubs here, and those that's how you know you got the top piece. Um, that's to keep these hangers from sliding in on themselves, mm -hmm. so that's how you know you got the top. Then this, all you got to do is take and pull this off, that's that, take that off. And that's all there is to it and then you get the hook and that hook there is a lantern hook which we use for our uh, Dietz lanterns which keeps it away from the wall and enables you to hang it so 
You've got a hook that you could use with your lantern when you're not using your dryer and you can use your dryer for so many other things when you don't have when you're it's off season for drying things so it's a really versatile tool I'm just gonna go down here and show you this I mean it goes into a small box so you do have thank you copper you do have um, some weight a little bit of weight to it but you aren't gonna have to pay to sh have it shipped in a very large box it's easy to store and easy to utilize and I am just so very excited about this piece I think that this will um, be a really big seller and um, really think you'll enjoy the versatility as well as the varying uses you'll have throughout the year with this piece so I wanted to jump on here and share this with you if you uh, also were wondering the height of in between your um, sets here that's one foot in between there okay so that's that's the height of that okay so. so like he showed you before when it was hanging you have your top that you can hang your smaller shorter herbs on maybe like your basil and things like that and then you have the bottom that you can hang your longer herbs on you can take the bottom piece off and just hang you know long herbs like your fireweed and your um, peppermint and stuff like that on the um, on the one piece by itself so that you have the full length so there's such versatility here and I really think that all you herbalists out there um, and gardeners will really appreciate this as well as um, just for so many other purposes I'm sure that you guys are going nuts with different ideas in your minds um, we've been looking at this and just coming up with so much so just wanted to share this with you can you think of anything else you want to share on that I don't think so. Um, other than, you know, this is something hand forged. Yeah. You know, I do this in my forge. Um, it's all done by hand. So this is something that's going to last. I mean, this will last generations. generations. Yeah. I mean, this <laughs> way outlast me. Yeah. Um, so, they, I mean, it'll last for a long, long time. So. And it's just awesome watching him take, you know, oftentimes scrap metal and turning it into just a beautiful piece of art. I have many knives that he's made for me that were made out of um, railroad spikes and um, uh, leaf springs on cars. So he just, he does amazing work and I'm really proud of him and the things he makes. So I'm real excited to share this with you and we'll get this on our shopping cart in our store um, so that you can purchase these and just keep in mind he does make them by hand so um, and I'm imagining there's going to be a rush on these so we'll keep that you posted on that too but thanks so much for joining us and stay tuned because we have so much to share and so much upcoming and he's working on a lot of other new pieces so we look forward to sharing those with you too so um, we will check back in soon so thanks for joining us and God bless, bless.